you reach your speed and and break earlier then opposite. Oh, okay. where's the sun? The sun is gone. Yeah. Hey, sun, come out. I'm starting here. Yeah. I, I learned car, driving car, because he is too old. He, had, uh, he was two years uh, older, no? and then uh, he let us drive in a way, because uh, we are in Very he learned to drive car. Uh, two years before we get to drive. <laughs> two years. <laughs> two years. <laughs> Uh, we just make one time we need a mistake because together. Oh, what is this? Is this electric? Yeah, electricity. Transformation station. Transformation station. That is when of the Germany. We come from the high yeah. voltage and we get down. Explain it. Uh, <laughs> explain it. That is the advantage um, because uh, Edison. 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 Edison, the, uh, well, the mighty inventor of the bulb. Mm -hmm. He did not invent really the bulb. He just he just make it work. The, 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 the principle of the bulb was long time known already, but there was no bulb who lasts longer than one hour when it was damaged or something like that. Mm. That's why it was not it was not useful, you know. Something would like just an uh, hour. And he he kept going to to make it better and he found an out when you when you take tungsten as as uh, glow wire, it will last longer. Tungsten or no, it was was it tungsten or was it carbon? Carbon. There you go. But he he make the the, the the bulb working last long. And then he was also the the inventor of uh, DC power uh, uh, generator. Uh, what was it? I, I, I don't know if I, I said I tell you there was something wrong. But there was there was a there was a fight between a guy who invented DC and the other he, he provided the AC current. The problem with the DC was well current is current is dangerous so uh, no, it doesn't matter if it was uh, DC or AC. We're talking about voltage now. Uh, but the AC had a big advantage. The advantage was that you can transform it easily by transformer from low voltage or from you know, low voltage to a higher voltage and from a higher voltage down to a lower voltage again. Why? Is the power is always voltage multiplied by current. So that means if you have a low voltage and at the same power, you have automatically a higher current. A higher current means that you need a bigger wire. But when you take now, you will set up the voltage to a higher level, your current will get down with the same power. Uh, let's say you have 1000 thousand watt. Uh, when you have 1000 watt, 
uh, by uh, yeah, by 100 volt and 10 ohm. Uh, then you have 1000 volt. So you can have also have 1000 volt and 1 ohm. Yeah. Then you have also 1000 volt. Yeah. And you will save the wire, but not so, so thick. And imagine when you have today, you have really high power lanes. No? You're working with 500,000 volt or something like that, or 230,000 volt. No? That is really high. And you have just a small current. And then you have done the transformer stations where the power get down again to an, um, to a low low voltage level and higher current. It's just for the transport, interesting. You know, you can transport the engine or the electric energy on a long distance by setting up the voltage and lower the current. If you do that with the same current, you need a big, big wire. The wire, the wire must be hundred times thicker than than they are right now, and you cannot hang it anymore. It's be too heavy. I don't think it's not, it's not uh, practical. That is a big advantage of uh, of the of the AC current. The DC current also have the problem that you cannot so transform it so easily. Well, today it is possible. We're talking that the advantage of of a, of a DC is uh, that you can you can put it underground. But AC is there more problematic because of the frequency. Uh, you need a bigger isolation space. Um, but this normally, when you have put it on the, the pole, poles and stuff like that, it's not a problem because you are you are in the height. There's no problem. But if you want to put it to underground, you cannot put underground 500,000 volt. That is uh, AC. By DC. Is it also not all the time possible? But it is. It is. Uh, yeah, it is possible. But DC, you have to trans. To, you can also transfer it from a higher voltage to a lower voltage and higher, higher current. But it's more complicated. You need. Uh, you need really power electronic to do that. It is the transformer is a really easy. Easy uh, approach. You know? It is just uh, it's just a metal core with with uh, copper wire. You have a you have a primary side, you have a secondary side, and then you you enter the higher cone and you get the lower cone or opposite. You know? so. so the transformation of uh, of AC is easier. But this is at this time uh, was long time but possible because you need, you, you need thick materials to us and stuff like that. And the electronic will regulate it. Yeah. So instead, because you have to transfer it to AC again later now. Because everything works with AC, that means you have to to, to transfer the, the AC to a higher current in DC, and then back to DC in a lower current in AC again to, to make it transfer underground. But today it's not a problem. Today you have really powerful terrestrials and electronic who can handle it. It's also not that expensive anymore. But in earlier time it was not possible, the technique was not so That's why they're talking now about to make long distance power 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 wire underground so you don't really need to pull it up. You don't cut you don't have to cut the, the trees and stuff like that. So now we are in Luxembourg. Yes, we are in Luxembourg now. Drive again? You drive again. Yeah. I'll stop down the bus. Okay. It's not allowed. Oh, you are not allowed to stop here. Okay. 
Men det var stoppad bas nej när jag vill inte för jag glömde att säga just det. Jag vill driva nu. Okej, åtta minuter.